Hello, welcome back to, and I forgot to check to see what my thing was. Anyway, I don't think I have much more space, so I'm probably going to stop when I clear this ton, this uh, temple. Can't go there. I can do that. Hmm, yes. That's settled. Level diff level five difficulty. Brave Dalfila. Lesser black ooze. Still dark waters are reflective as black glass. Certainly. Laying low. There's a screech of metal and snapping noise as you pull the lever. Okay, let's clear this area up here first. I'll see what I can find. Finish them! The hell is Boulder King? Brave. Finish! That's it! Ready, Watcher. Yes. Us, the Pilgrim's Lasting Vigil. Resolve of Perception. Certainly. That would lead back upstairs. Not particularly ready to go upstairs. Where exactly would it lead? It? The tombstone icon indicates a memorial. These are personalized messages written by our backers. Many of them break the fourth wall, so players desiring complete immersion may wish to avoid clicking them. Pilgrim's Lasting Vigil. This is a different place. You step over the circle of candles. You hear a rattling clunk from a wall nearby. A door slides open with a grinding rasp of stone. Does that go into the part of the area we've already been to? Candles flicker gently as you approach. There's a gap above the altar lined with broken glass where a mirror may once have been set. The candles are still burning. Not bad for a dead god. What's all this? This all for? Redemption. And they got this whole right for when you come of age. They take you by the hand and you descend through the temple with your eyes covered, and that's supposed to be like a wicked life. They don't tell you where you're going. <laughs> I was sweating like crazy when I did mine. They take you to that reflecting pool back there, and you're allowed to look at it so you can face your sins. Then, you come out into this room, and they uncover your eyes again, and everyone's there to greet you, all your friends and family. It's like you've been redeemed. You light your candle, and it burns with the others. Never had a feeling better than that my whole life. Peter's eyes linger on the candles, and he seems for a moment to be a young The candles are still burning. Not bad for a dead god. I am not going to 
It was nice to see those candles still burning. I figured they'd have gone out by now. Spirit nearby crystal lights the cracked mosaic in shades of orange at certain angles the metallic symbol beneath your feet gleams gold. As you look on, the air shimmers as if with summer heat. The very dust and air seem to pull together until a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think you see the shape of a man. Features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Is anyone else seen this? This must be one of the... I get the feeling this must be one of the first times you interact with this. Voice sparks, your voice sparks movement. The spirit surge with sudden blazing light, and in the next moment you are somewhere else. Your mind assailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You're in the chapter hall. Priests and fable have gathered in a great crowd, spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles. The room is dark, save for the podium lit from behind. Two people stand before it, lit in silhouette. A man is shouting, voice so ragged with fear you cannot understand what he says. But the rector stands calm, unmoved. Her strength will see you all through these dark times. You feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. The spirit tears itself away from you from you with sudden dizzying force, and you find yourself back before the ruined altar swaying. The spirit fades as suddenly as it appeared. I saw you earlier. Is this, this is the upstairs area. Red brown smears flake away under the toe of your boot. Where's the stairs down? Oh, there's more, there's another room I hadn't looked at. Need to clear that. This is rather dangerous to leave just Hello spiders. Grave Dolphin. <laughs> Dead on These are spider wings. Somewhere there must be a queen. Stuck! <laughs> Cutest cat. The pile of furniture is branded with scorch marks. Letter home. Mother, I have asked for brother Adric to carry this letter to you, for he travels to New Hamar come morning. With him comes what coin I have. I hope it will ease the surprise of an unexpected homecoming, for I mean to follow in a few days' time. Our village is much tame, changed, and though I do not wish for you to worry, I do not feel it is safe to remain. I know Rectrix or Brika will not approve, but the letter trails off here. I guess they never got a chance to, to send it. Whoever sat here left in a hurry. Ink was dripping across the scroll, obscuring its contents. They died fast. And the fire shows me something new. Really? Oh? Oh, look at that. Okay, so this floor is completely uh, explored again. Any weapon that lists damage type like Slash or Crush will do whatever damage type is most or more advantageous, usually whatever type the target is not vulnerable to. I wonder when I started reading those. I think it must have been, I, what, 20, 30 videos in? Hard to remember. Okay. I don't want to go there yet. I want to cover these areas first. Great. Why do you have a little 
purple thing above your... Oh, because you're casting something, isn't it? It does feel like... To whispers and shadows. That wasn't Sagani, that was from, that was from Exio. You hear a grinding noise beneath your feet and the rush of water. I'll bet I have unflooded the area. If we turn this corner, it is indeed no longer flooded. But there are oozes. And there's the key that that thing told us about. Okay, have two more rooms to check out. I imagine. Hello, um, you too, Mac. Follow. Oh, you're still. S yes. Slow and silent. Oh? I shall be quiet as a slow? calm sea, which is... I shall be quiet... That's it! <laughs> now this I haven't seen before. Hey. Oh, you can. Disarm it from range. Minor ring of protection. A simple test. That's settled. Great sword. Fine great sword. Oh. Yeah, this would have been dangerous at a, uh, lower levels. It's not so much here. Lots of traps. Great. If What did I add to the inventory? It was some sort of cloak. Cloak of an Ethosian priest, plus nine will. Okay. Certainly. Is that everything here now? It does appear to be indeed everything. They drowned the guy partaking of the healing baths. They flooded him in. Either that or those was always meant to be. Remind me never to help kill my god, god again. Light rises from the bones as you approach. You have a moment to register the faintest image of a standing figure. Features of a blur or mist or smoke before the world tilts. It is as if you have stepped sideways and into a new life. You are racing down a flight of stairs, following a weaving circle of torchlight. And your own panting breaths are loud in your ears. Panic in your robes alike foul your steps. And you nearly stumble before a hand reaches out to grip your arm and steady you. A fellow acolyte who smiles encouragement as you reach the bottom. You run around and pass the shallow reflection pool that marks the lowest point of the temple. 
following the dark shapes of the older priests as they lead the way towards the narrow hall that leads to the vault. You pass one of the torchbearers as you go. The harsh illumination of the flames reveals a familiar face. For a moment, your awareness spans time and identity, and you think Weirtan has joined you here at the bottom of the temple. In the memory, he glances at you for a moment, then looks past at someone else. I'll come back once they've gone, he's saying. saying. You're being pat pressed along by the crowd, and his words are growing faint. Just keep quiet. We can't take any chances. Inside the vault, golden relics gleam like welcoming stars. The memory twists, jarring you loose from one moment and plunging you into another like a flung doll. There is only darkness around you now, and you think yourself blinded until the knowledge settles on you too like a cloak. The candles were all have all burnt away. You know now, too, with sick certainty that nobody's coming. There is a crackling noise somewhere to your left, a wet slurping gurgle, and a ragged sob. You cannot see, and so you cannot know which brother or sister has fallen, and which digs after what a body may provide. You hear in the faint murmuring to your right a familiar cadence of prayer, but you no longer recognize the words. You are too tired to do harm. The thirst is like fire within you. Your tongue is thick in your throat, and every breath is struggle that leeches strength from you. There is a light, they said, at the end of every bout of darkness, but this one does not end. The spirit releases you, and you come back to yourself in pieces. Your vision clears, and your vault, the vault around you is revealed once more, cast in muted hues by the sickly illumination of the soul, still drifting like fading fog. Fear wafts off the spirit in waves, fraying at your own emotions. I'm sorry. I hope you find some peace in the next life. Spirit seems to withdraw into itself. You sense loss of its fear and confusion as it recedes, but the soul lingers still. No matter how many times I see you staring off at nothing, it doesn't get any less weird. Gather the remains. Spend a few moments gathering up what you can find of the bones of the priest. It proves a heavy and gruesome burden, but you manage to recover them all. Yeah, nice. Some gold. Skulls from other added. The quest. Ex Somewhere. Oh, in in deep. Deep in the ruins of Abril's well, a pair of pigra pay on travelers and offer up their sacrifices to their mother. In the past, travelers simply knew to avoid all trails leading near the well, but in recent years, the Pigra have increased the range of their haunts. Hunts. Travelers have been abducted or killed on the roads between Salisvale and Midwood. Glenfathens are reticent to enter Ibril's well due to religious significance of the ruins there, but that hasn't stopped the residents of the affected towns from requesting help from within the Deerwood. You're busy. Oh, uh, let's do grieving mother since uh, missed the other one since I, it was a, those must be random I occurrences that. that's settled hey it's a unique flare flail not flare flail and a crowbar some of the gold leaf on these relics is chipped away to reveal the wood beneath there are tooth marks upon one of the bowls they were locked in This is a grisly assortment of weathered bones and skulls belonging to the Athosan priests lost within the temple at Gilded Vale. They were locked in here and they got killed by animals. This is a safe room, basically. But the person that was supposed to let them out never came back. Let's go this way. This is the shorter way out. Mind effects all damage and healing done by the character, and their fortitude defense. It may also be used in conversations and scripted interactions for tests of strength and power. Fast mode active. Rear 10 is going to get a little bit of a shocker. If he tries to kill us, which I hope he doesn't. 
Good day, stranger. Merchant smiles nervously as you approached. As you approach, I think I've sorted out the worst of it. Arms hurting a little less. You were down there a while. Did you find anything? You lied to me. What? I'm, I was clear about everything. The risk involved. And is that what you mean? I might did say there'd be spiders, and I'll pay you, of course, for the trouble. You and I both know what I saw down there and what they told me. Britton opens his mouth to protest, but something in his expression, your expression stops him. He nervously swallows nervously and looks away. His voice when he speaks is small. How did you... How could you betray them? They trusted you. Trade, I was never one of them, mad followers of the Shattered God. If I could, I would if I could have chased them all out of town. If you don't understand, I tried to help them, I did. Every day, every single day I went to that temple and I warned them. I told them they were playing with fire and Radric wouldn't be patient forever. And every time they'd shrug it off, like I didn't know what I was talking about. Like it was wasn't costing me coming in to try to help them. I could have been arrested right alongside them. No, of course not. I, I don't know. I think on it all the time, wondering, what did I click? I told I, I clicked with that by accident. I told the commander the priest had left town. He ordered the temple sealed. I remembered that moment. It was like a dream. Like I went away for a time. I watched them start bringing the place down, burn the tapestries, the books. It was like between one blink and the next. It was over. Too late to say anything. Too late to say anything. You had days to tell someone. I'd have dug them out with my own hands if I'd known. They were some of the last decent folk left in this hole. Now all we got left is people like you. Radric would have killed him. Could have spoken up. I could have. It would have ruined me. Maybe killed me. But I could have saved them. I didn't. I told you the way of it. I told you what happened. Guess it's your turn now. Time to make a decision. It's not too late to make a I'm not sure that's true. It's been years now. What am I supposed to do? Bury their bones. Try to lead it a better life than you have so far. I can do that. I'll lay them to rest. Try and do right by them somehow. Thank you truly for what you've done, giving me a second chance. I'll put it to good use. Um, that's going to be more true to... Uh, ooh, that's a leveled. Ten chapter. Well, I can't increase your lore. Let's increase your stealth so that we can sneak without getting revealed. As ooh, is that a? That's an invocation. That's a third level invocation. Garen six beasts lit the night with his breath. Calls down a drake from the skies to hunt fight for the party. Oh, but knock not on the door of Erdil and Girdle. Two fearsome ogres, two ogres to fight for the party. Rise, rise again, rise again, rise again, Scions of Adon. Revives allies in the area effect with small amount of endurance. It's a cone. Right, nice. Seven nights she waited while the white winds wept. Attack enemies in seven directions around the chanter with bolts of freezing ice. Eleven meters. The bride caught their ruse and set to make them pay. Empowers allies in the area effect with bonuses to dexterity, perception, and intellect. Pretty hefty, actually. It's a cone. The bride man slew 34. They crossed half the hall. Empowers allies in the area of effect with bonuses to might, constitution, and resolve. And it's another cone. It's a very short cone. Hmm. What do I want to do? Another revival might be useful, but I very rarely need it. Yeah, I say that. I've needed it something like that several times recently. Okay. That's a damage one. It's a long damage one. Seven directions. 
Area of effect. There's a boost. Let's grab a dragon. Okay. Act this is all the uh Yeah, okay. Make you a marksman. You're already a decent gunner. I give you two handed style. Plus fifteen percent damage. Twenty percent dual wield attack speed. Hold the line. I don't want to hold the line. Weapon and shield style. Shot on the run. Deep pockets. Fast runner. You can do wind binding. You know what? Let's go ahead and give you the wounding shot. Mm -hmm. right. And I'm going to save. That'll be the end of this session, I think. I have some work I need to do. Transcription work. Temple of Eothus. Buried secrets. Talk to you later.